So hello and welcome to another update. We, we take a look at the NVIDIA chart today and we are looking at the question whether NVIDIA might have topped actually. And as you can see here on the chart, the overall wave pattern hasn't changed to previous updates. So the idea is still that we are quite overstretched. So we're wave four bottomed here in October 23. We are now in the wave five, in that fifth wave. We're always looking for five wave patterns in Elliott wave. In that fifth wave, we have five waves up as well. One, two, three, four, five. So that's a five wave move with an extended fifth wave. So this last fifth wave on the NVIDIA chart um, started in April 24, okay? And this is very much overstretched, very much overextended. And then looking at the micro patterns here within wave five on the NVIDIA chart, we also see a wave one completed, a wave two completed, a wave three completed. This might have been now the wave four low. I go to the one hour chart in seconds. So as you might remember from previous updates, um, $107 is support for a fourth wave pullback in a still unfolding larger wave five, which might lead to another low, uh, another high, possibly targeting $154, $155. But we're very close to a top. We could already have topped. We're very close to a top. Maybe we've topped, maybe one more high. There is a clear level that distinguishes between these two potentials. For another high, we need to hold the $107 level. So far, NVIDIA has done what I wanted it to do. It um, formed here a B wave top or a corrective rally top and has now shown us five waves down. So we have an ABC structure. We're holding support, could get one more high. It now takes a break above resistance of $120 to indicate that we've bottomed there. So we could get one more high in wave five or five or five or five of a larger third wave. Um, I need that signal to indicate that we've really bottomed in wave four. Yeah. So unless we get that signal above $120.57, um, we could easily form one more low and then we have five waves down. So any break below that yellow third wave low that formed on Wednesday at $107, specifically at that FIB level, yeah, um, would indicate we have five waves down and that would indicate weakness. So it's literally all about the $107 level. Any break below it will strongly indicate that Nvidia has topped, not only a local top, no, that would be a major top of this larger degree third wave here that started, well, a long time ago, a long time ago, and we would then see a major decline Okay, so that's critical. I don't want to call a top too early. We need to see if support breaks in five waves. So yeah, that's the update about uh, NVIDIA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please uh, hit a like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you're interested in daily updates about the S&P 500, as well as regular updates about stocks, check out our stocks and S&P 500 service. You'll find the link in the description.